Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby. Before we get started with our video today, let's uh, handle our usual business. Remember, if you like what you see, click that like and subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, remember to ring that bell so YouTube can send you a notification. Also, if you'd like to support Teacher's, Co Teacher's Corner, cannot speak today <laughs> teacher's corner in a uh, in another way you can consider becoming a patron or simply clicking the join button on the channel all right you can become a patron the link for that is in the top right hand corner of this video all right without any further ado we are here on the triple test server yes you heard me right on the Tribble server above Drozana because we are taking a first look at the uh, Discovery Legends reputation. So this is so brand spanking new. It ain't even on holodeck yet. Yes, the Discovery Legends uh, reputation. It has six tiers like every other reputation. And... Um, so it has some interesting things we'll delve into it a little bit so first of all and we're going to focus mostly on space once we get to equipment because that's really what i focus on but i'll go over some things so tier one when you unlock that you get the uh, reputation traits of ariums augments which is damage over time resistance an area of effect resistance and you get Tyler's memories which gives you some bonus weapon damage based on distance to target okay and for tier 2 now this is interesting this is these are your space effects so this again gives you damage over time resistance and area of effect damage resistance so those that's actually good, especially if you're looking to be a tank. Decent amount. All right, so now Saru's Grace is interesting. It kind of caught my attention, especially for gravity well ships. Because this one, when you slot this trait, applying control abilities to enemy ships adds a stack of Saru's Grace to your ship improving damage and speed for 20 seconds maximum 10 stacks which means you can have a total of 10 percent damage boost and 10 percent speed boost okay so it kind of catches my eye obviously that's going to require some testing but it kind of catches my eye for science builds all right so moving on Again, these two are going to be ground traits. And again, the ground version of Sorrow's Grace is Sorrow's Vigor. And that's control powers, uh, add stacks to self, uh, damage and speed on the ground. And again, same thing. And then there's Landry's Tenacity. And that's outgoing critical hits, cleanse one random debuff. Kind of interesting. So then we have our tier 4 abilities. Landry's Loyalty is the space version of Landry's Tenacity. Outgoing Critical Hits. Cleanse 1 Random Debuff. Might be interesting. We'll have to take a look at it. Um, the one that's most interesting though from this group is Tyler's Duality. Okay, so this gives you a Critical Chance Buff based on your hull capacity which maxes out at six percent with a 200,000 hull cap okay so that's kind of interesting crit chance is something that we're always looking for so it is kind of interesting and uh, it actually will max out at 7.5 percent chance at uh, once you have tier six completed so that's uh 
it's definitely something that's going to be worth looking at and uh, we'll have to see all right and then our tier 5 captain ability or captain trait is going to be a space one and basically it says let me hover over uh, release an asteroid with unusual gravitational properties then tow it with tractor beams dragging nearby enemies behind you while the asteroid persists so basically you spawn this rock it sucks everything to it and you drag it along behind you while it deals kinetic damage over time um it sounds interesting it's going to depend on a couple things does the pool for example scale with control expertise does the damage scale with epg these are questions we don't know yet so this might be interesting we're going to be doing some testing when this comes out all right and then of course tier six all of these become rank two and give slightly better uh, stats for all of it now the other thing that I found interesting all right and I'm gonna focus only on space gear so first one Lorca's custom fire controls now this looked a little interesting it gives some critical chance quite a bit actually at 3.4 percent this is quite a bit for a console um, it gives a little bit of weapon power setting it also gives shield penetration Now that was interesting um, so again critical chance is something that we really like there are some consoles right now that are only slotted for critical chance the uh, Romulan uh, console for example is usually slotted mostly for its crit chance so this might replace it because it gives quite a bit more okay so and then we have the deflector array which gives uh, hull restoration shield restoration hull cap shield cap and some damage resistance torp damage resistance which is a little interesting and then of course we have uh, our impulse engines impulse wave engines which give some shield power some engine power outside combat okay uh, flight speed and impulse flight speed Where was, there we go and impulse flight speed as well okay and then we have our warp core now this gives us uh, additional shield power gives us a maximum warp factor of 10.47 nothing really to write home about but it does give us plus 20 percent slipstream speed and plus one and 100 percent slipstream turn rate Okay, which is kind of interesting it gives a 50% reduced cooldown on trans warp for those that like to travel that way and adds a little bit of shield power to your weapon power as bonus power also uh, let's see 3.3 percent all damage per subsystem has an amp mod on it as well so there you go all right and we have our shield this is Tilly's shield it has a 10 percent bleed through which i'm not a f i prefer the five percent absorbed five percent bleed through but the interesting thing is it does add to your hull capacity but also if you read the little proc here um your weapon attacks cause enemy shields to receive 11.5 percent increased damage for 10 seconds and that's based on shield power so that's kind of interesting it 
could be useful. We'll have to, again, we'll have to test, but that is interesting. It catches my eye. All right. And then now, let me see here. So there's that. All right. And then there were some other things in the store. They have some quite interesting things. So they have the science consoles are kind of interesting. One set of them, the Bellum set of each of these consoles has 1.2% crit chance. And that's for every type of console they have here. And what strikes me is that there's a pretty good variety. There's tactical, and these are, of course, general, um, tactical pre-fire chamber, uh, and, of course, let's see, directed energy. So if you're going for something non-specific with beams, these aren't, I don't see the energy tactical consoles replacing the, um, the spire consoles anytime soon, but... It is interesting the amount of variety they have. They've got EPS flow regulators that now have crit chance. They've got um, RCS accelerators that now have crit chance. Um, nanite reinforced circuitry or field generators with crit chance as well as projectile tactical consoles. Again, I don't see really see these replacing the vulnerability locators. And But another honorable mention here is the uh, engineering consoles, the Montanium and Triburnium alloys that now have crit chance added onto them. So it's interesting. These might see, you might see these popping up or recommended in uh, different builds. So that's where you get them. All right, so that is a first look at the Discovery Legends reputation. As I said, I was going to focus on space rather than ground. Ground is, oh, I did miss. Okay, and I did miss things because there are wide angle, hello, wide angle beam banks which are quite interesting and of course these get two percent bonus all damage once you reach tier six but um phaser and uh as well as disruptor and then there's also the torpedo which is a uh, quantum torpedo that has a what they call a dark matter chaser so interesting little things there all right so this has been a quick overview of the at least mostly the space area of the discovery legends reputation i hope you found this interesting and i will see you next time